a multicultural meal today. Because we want Italian, Asian, and Southern cooking all in the same delicious bite. And thanks to some amazing products available on the internet, making meals is fun and easy. The Vegetti. You make pasta out of vegetables with it by sticking a zucchini in here, and then you just turn the death crank to shove the veggie's body through the mutilation blades. What's wrong with a nice four meat lasagna? It's a healthy alternative for people that don't want meaty man boobs or their hearts to explode. You cannot make pasta out of a carrot. It is just plain wrong. But it's good for you. You know what is good for me? Meat. You say this thing can make pasta out of anything? Oh, that's a great idea. This is really baloney? Yeah. I changed my mind. I'm not eating that. Don't worry. That's why Zach's here. Hey, everybody. Zach's our good buddy who helps us by doing things we don't wanna. And to say thank you, we have cooked bologna pasta for you. That's disgusting. No, it's healthy. We use chicken bologna. And look, it looks like meatballs. It does, it looks like meatballs and sauce. It looks like spaghetti and feet. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's stretchy. <laughs> it's splattering. It looks like rubber. It tastes like rubber too. You did not taste it yet. <laughs> the best part is, he's eating meat. Okay, we're gonna try the healthy side now. Cucumber, zucchini, and pesto. Why is that healthy? I don't know, olive oil is supposed to be good for you. It sounds pretty healthy. It's... That is awesome. Hey, because the other one wasn't gross, can you eat that whole thing to make it entertaining In for the one people? one bite, one bite. One bite. Go, 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 And now cram in one of the horse foot meatballs. How is it? It, it kind of just tastes like oil. <laughs> Okay, now you should set a good example for all the kids watching and clean both these plates. No. That's right. You gotta save room for your next multicultural course. Woo! I'll go get the sushi bazooka. Yes. No. This thing has sushi written on it. We ordered sushi bazooka. I want bazooka. Well, maybe sushi is Japanese for bazooka. Oh, that'd be okay. Remember bazooka from G.I. Joe toys? I remember he made no sense. Ah, bazooka. Football jersey, handlebar mustache, missile launcher. He's like the village person that nobody wanted. Anyway, sushi bazooka makes making sushi easy. You put in the rice and stuff, and then squeeze out a big white sushi turd log. <laughs> Finally, sushi made elegant and classy. Papa went to the big scary Asian supermarket in our neighborhood to buy fresh fish, all kinds of fish, so we can have a sushi extravaganza. Yeah, I didn't buy no fresh fish though. I ran out of money. You what? It's not my fault. They had these weird bowls of mystery sea meat and I couldn't help myself. I'm pretty sure these are shark balls. Shark balls? Shark meat. Balls of shark meat. I love what you've bought, but what about our squirting sushi poop logs? The blog is ruined! Nah, I had about a dollar left over, so I bought a bag of Skittles. Ooh, Skittlushi! Prepare to make a rainbow roll! Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. A reading rainbow! A reading rainbow! <laughs> It is time for the second course of ethnic meal time, sushi. We made it out of Skittles to celebrate the fact that anyone who wants to can get married in America now. We call it the rainbow flag roll. It doesn't make any sense. Don't tell us how to honor gay marriage. Eat the rainbow roll, Zach. Yeah, eat it. Eat it. All right. Hey, wait. What? If you want, we have Fanta dipping sauce. Excellent. Great. Any one of these? Any one. I'll do this purple one. You want to try it without the fan of Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do it without first. Yeah, and then try it with. <laughs> Is it terrible? No, I bet it's good. I mean, it's Skittles. <laughs> yeah, so it's perfect. Does it taste awful? No, I mean, it tastes like... Gay marriage? I could see... It <laughs> Does it taste like pride? I could see some restaurant in the West Village charging a lot of money for this as a dessert. What's amazing is all he has to wash it down with is his dipping sauce. You want more? No, I'm good. We got lots. I'm still full from the meat pasta. Oh, but wait! 
in keeping with the theme of flags and old news, we prepared another flag roll for you. Awesome. The Confederate flag roll! Well, looks like old Zach's in a heap of trouble. The Confederate flag roll. This is fried chicken and pulled pork rolled up inside cheese grits. <laughs> and garnished with pork rinds. Eat it, Zach. Okay. Uh, okay, it's not holding together too well. What is that? What's he dipping it in? He's dipping it in barbecue sauce. That's pretty good. Is it good? good? Yes, but I would, I would eat this. You know when we said it was made out of fried chicken? Mm -hmm. The best part of the fried chicken, buddy. The butt? No, we only used skin. Oh, fried chicken skin and pulled pork? Yeah. And cheese grits? Yeah. And barbecue sauce? Yeah. And pork rinds? Yeah. Why do you think this would be gross? Because we got the fried chicken from Popeye's. <laughs> That's a little gross. I think there may be some gorilla hair in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm tasting. It looks like he really likes it. Yeah, seriously, he's, he's, we didn't have to tell him to keep going. He just keeps on going. God, it's good. Zach, which one do you like better? And he's a liberal. That's true. Looks like Americans are finally getting along. It took the sushi bazooka to bring our nation together. Arigato, Susie! Zach has been a good sport. He deserves dessert. So we're making him cake and lollipops at the same time. <laughs> the Baby Cakes Cake Pop Maker cooks nine mini circle cakes at once. It looks like a My Little Pony George Foreman grill. What is the point of this? I don't know, to make eating cake fun or something. Eating cake was already fun. Where are all the cake pops? I ate them. What, all of them? Yeah, like all nine of those cake pops added up to maybe half a slice of cake. This thing is pointless. What are we gonna feed Zach? We've got a bunch of extra mystery meat of the sea spheres that we bought at the Asian supermarket. Okay, Zach, we made you cake pops with frosting and everything. Because we love you all so much. Uh, I don't trust you guys. Okay, to be fair, one of these cake pops is actually a bowl of Asian mystery fish meat covered in frosting. Okay. But uh, the odds are pretty good you won't pick that one. What Zach doesn't know is I ate all the cake. So he is about to eat a ball of mysterious meat of the sea. Because they are all the sea meat of mystery. Eat it, eat it, eat, eat it, it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, chew it. Is it the fish one? Did you get the fish? <laughs> <laughs> How is it test? I don't know if I got the fish one. I think I did. The only way we'll know is if you eat another one. Try another one, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> they are all fish! <laughs> you guys suck! What? You lied to me. We did lie, yeah. Kids never lie to people because it's bad. You know what? I got something to say. What? You're a really good sport, Zach. Oh, thank you. We like you. Yeah. You know what? You can keep the shark balls. Thank you. What? What? No! I wanted those! 